Hello guys, DaveDev here. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to debug your PHP in your local web server in SAMP and uh, using your text editor. In my case, it's a Visual Studio. Um, this is my favorite tool because it allows you to go through your code uh, step by step and being able to debug everything and checking all the values at runtime, which is great. So let's get to it. The first thing that we need to do is to have a uh, XAMPP installed. If you don't have it, please check my other videos where I show how to install and configure XAMPP. And I'm going to go through here and also um, I'm going to use my default uh, dev example project that I have here. Mm. Yeah, so if you don't have if you don't know how to get in into this step, please check my other videos and We'll, we'll just continue. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to uh, launch um, Apache on XAMPP. And uh, we will need to install some libraries that allow us to uh, debug PHP. It's called uh, xdebug. So if we look for it, xdebug. And then click here on the installation wizard. And as you can see here, it says that you need to uh, copy and paste the PHP info. And that's very easy to do. So we just go to our project here. So let's restart this. And here it is. So control A, control C, and then control V here and analyze. Okay, in here it says that it has been analyzed correctly and it even says where do you need to place your xdebug. So here it's, uh, you just click here to download, keep it, and then control X. Okay, it says to install it in um, XAMPP PHP X. So let's just do that. Open Explorer here, PHP, text. Okay, and just paste it here. And there you go. Okay, the next step that you need to do is to go to your PHP ini. You can go uh, quickly from here, PHP. Here I have PHP ini. So if you go to the bottom of it, here you will have you won't have this, um, so I recommend you to copy and paste this. Uh, this is basically saying that uh, our, our PHP server is going to use this library, which is the one that we just currently installed. Uh, you just specify the path where you installed it, and then you specify the mode, it's debug, and then a couple of other options. Um, uh, I recommend that you use this uh, host and port configuration because it won't. Uh, the host is it's mandatory to be like this because that's the default local host and the port. This one is the default for uh, debugging purposes, so just leave it as it. And then you save and close, and uh, restart your Apache server. And now we have to go back to our Visual Studio code. So uh, in order to make the debugger work, we will need to um, install an extension uh, in here. So you will need to look for PHP debug. Yeah, and then this is the one you just install it. And I already have it installed. so. There you go. And you can start debugging now. Let's just create a couple of things here to make the debugging a little bit challenging. Okay. So in order to start debugging this, you just need to uh, click here and you will add a breakpoint. That means that the uh, debugger will stop 
on this call and then you can step over it and uh, do other things with it like checking the values and yeah it's it's very straightforward so in order to start debugging you just click here and then it will say that you need to create a launch json file so you just click here and it will create one for you um, but you need to change a couple of things for example the port it's 9000 and uh, i believe the rest is fine yep okay so just save it and then you should be able to start debugging just by clicking the green button here um for being able to stop you need to launch the website again so let's just call this and there you go it has stopped okay in this side you can see the all the variables that the code has accessibility to so in this case we have var which is this one which is uninitialized as you can see is not initialized then you have all the super globals which are like the cookies the server the uh, ev everything that you you need to know for this and then uh, constant values which we don't have any and then you have this uh, little bar here that uh, allows you to move through the debugging so this one it's just for continuing so um, if you don't have any other breakpoints you will just continue and stop the execution um, but let's let's do it again if you have another breakpoint here, it will just continue to the next breakpoint. And as you can see, the uh, variable has changed to two. OK, but what about the function? So if we just call it again, uh, if you want to see the, um, the code that is being executed inside the function, you will need to step into. Uh, the opposite is step over, which will just go, uh, will jump to the next uh, line without going inside of the function. But if you want to see the contents of the function being debugged, you just step into. And as you can see, it went inside of the test. And then you can uh, hover over the variables to see the values. And as you can see here, the local has changed to variable and it's not a var anymore because it's just for local scoping only and we just step and there the variable is one now the variable is two and then it returns and then we are back to the original place where var it has been assigned to the variable there's another option if you uh, are inside the function and you want to be outside of the function or uh, inside a loop you can go in, uh, you can use this button which is step out so if we go in inside and we for some reason we don't want to be inside of the function anymore because we don't really need to see anything else we just step out and it will get to the next line outside of the function and the last thing would be uh, let's say that you are changing uh, the code while you are debugging it let's write var plus plus okay so we have this change however the debugging it's uh, on the previous version where you started the debugger so in order to access the new version you will need to use this button which is restart and then it will restart the debugger but with the latest version so you will have access to this uh, be very careful about it because um, you can debug through the old uh, version using the new code and you won't be able to see the difference but the code the debugger will just jump through and it's if you're trying to debug the latest you need to be very careful about it and then you just step through and there you go you have the new value and that's it and this is very simple it's stopping the debugger and it will stop so that's it for this video thank you very much for uh, staying until the end and don't forget to subscribe share and give a like if you like the content
and thank you and see you on the next one